Hi there, I'm Dr. Carrie Daly. I'm one of the staff DVMs here at Dove Lewis. Uh, today we're going to be talking about hedgehog exam and restraint. So this hedgehog is actually my own hedgehog, Una. Um, she is a little bit nervous. Many hedgehogs do tend to be nervous. They're obviously primary mode of defense is their spikes, and so any sort of stress, they will make a hissing sound to make themselves sound quite scary um, and, uh, and curl up in a ball. Most hedgehogs do not tend to bite, again, because they've got this really wonderful armor of spikes to utilize instead. So examining them can be difficult because you're essentially trying to examine a living pincushion. So I've brought her in in a little snuggle sack. This is something you will see commonly with hedgehogs and other pocket pets. It's used for bonding. Um, and here she comes on out. So I'm just going to protect her from backing off the side of the table. And she wants to go right back in, as you can see. So you can start by just seeing if they'll let you see their little face. Um, and you can move your hand, I think. So things you want to check for, um, flakiness around their little faces, which could indicate ectoparasites. Again, any, uh, any sort of discharge from the eyes or nose. These guys don't tend to get respiratory diseases. Um, in fact, the most common injury we see them coming into Dove Lewis for is um, hair entrapment around their little paws. Their quills will catch hair and uh, it will become round around their feet and essentially do like a strangulation injury, which is often not caught until it's quite severe, again, because they pull those little feet right in. But a really useful trick for hedgehogs is actually to put about a half an inch of water into a clear bowl. And then you can gently lower them into it and the water will cause them to unfurl and you can actually kind of look from underneath to examine their feet and their belly and their skin and so forth. Now, if it's a shallow one like we have here, they may try to get out, but even that will allow you to do a little bit of an exam. The water won't cause them any discomfort as long as it's not too deep, too hot, too cold, anything like that. But that's a really useful trick for a preliminary exam.